This cruise mystery is Court TV crime library reporter Seamus McGraw. Seamus, tell us the specific circumstances uh, of this woman's disappearance. It's almost unbelievable. Well, as you say, hi Kimberly, how are you? As you say, uh, she was on vacation with her family. Uh, this was Tuesday. Uh, she was last seen uh, heading into her, her family's stateroom at about 12.30 a.m. 7.30 the next morning. Uh, her sister came to check in on her and uh, she was missing. Um, the cruise ship uh, apparently passed around photographs of her to, uh, to to other passengers in the hopes of locating her. There was a search done. Uh, they uh, they apparently notified the uh, both the U.S. consulate and authorities in Naples, where the the ship was bound. Uh, once they arrived in Naples, uh, the, uh, the, the 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 Neapolitan police apparently conducted an investigation. The FBI was notified, and the FBI is conducting an investigation as well. Well, it seems that this investigation is uh, proceeding, you know, in order so far. Perhaps some lessons learned from how the George Allen Smith case was handled. Yeah, I think that's that's probably very much the case. Uh, as you recall, last year uh, the, uh, the 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 cruise line uh, it took a great deal of uh, well, it was, uh, quite a, quite a deal, a great deal of controversy surrounding their handling of the situation. Now, the, the cruise line has consistently maintained that they did everything correctly, but there've been allegations, of course, that that, that there were there was mishandling of evidence and uh, that sort of thing. Seamus, is this being uh, treated as if it is foul play? Is suspected not an accident? And any idea? I know she comes from a very wealthy family. Any indication that the family was targeted or she was targeted? I think that would be a little bit of a leap at this point, Kimberly. Only because uh, you're talking about an incident that happened 100 miles at sea. Whatever right. happened. Um, at this point, uh, the the authorities are conducting what they call the FBI is conducting what they call an investigation on the high seas. That doesn't necessarily mean that they uh, they know there was a crime committed. I think the first thing they have to determine is whether, in fact, a crime was committed. Now, now keep in mind that in the last year, uh, this young woman is the fourth person uh, to have vanished uh, right. aboard a ship, uh, a Royal Caribbean ship. And any uh, similarity that jumps out at you right now between this case and George Allen Smith? Uh, none stunning at this point. I mean, I, I think what's most what's most compelling about this is is more more the uh, the kind of methodical way and uh, that the that that the cruise line responded to the situation in contrast to to the allegations about the last time. All right, Seamus, we're going to ask you to stand by, and we're going to introduce uh, Bree Smith. And Royal Caribbean has released this statement in response to Elizabeth's disappearance. Royal Caribbean notified the U.S. and Italian Coast Guards, the FBI, the U.S. Consulate in Naples, and the Naples Police. The Naples Police conducted an investigation, and the Italian Coast Guard conducted an air and sea search. Royal Caribbean is fully supporting the investigation in numerous ways, including the collection of onboard records, videotapes, and statements, and preserving, this is important, staterooms for investigators. Well, one person that is very familiar with the tragedy of losing a loved one on the high seas is Bree Smith. As you remember, her brother George Allen Smith vanished from his honeymoon cruise one year ago, and Bree joins us now on the phone. Bree, it's great to have you with us tonight. Uh, as soon as I heard this story, I thought of you uh, and wanted to talk to you about it because I can't imagine you know what's going through your mind when you hear that another young person has disappeared off of a cruise ship. Hi Kimberly thanks for having me on tonight. Uh, we're devastated for Elizabeth's family. We actually reached out to them today and offered our help and support to them in any way possible. Uh, it's, it's a tragedy like I've said before in your program Kimberly that no family should have to endure and unfortunately it's happening far too frequently. Do you think that there were some lessons learned, valuable lessons at all from the way your brother's case was handled, that perhaps they're better equipped or, you know, being more thorough in terms of preserving evidence? Well, I would hope so, Kimberly, but, um, you know, you can't read into that from a Royal Caribbean released press release. We've determined that in my brother's case. I, I just hope that they handled the situation with Elizabeth's disappearance better than they did with George's. All right, and let's segue back to your brother's case. I know that your family has recently hired a new attorney that we know very well here in the lineup, John Q. Kelly. Uh, what do you think, uh, where does it stand right now, the investigation, and what can you do to help you guys uh, with, I guess, putting some closure to this and getting some answers? Well, we actually had a meeting with uh, the head Connecticut U.S. attorney the other day, uh, Kevin O'Connor, as well as the head of the Ken Connecticut FBI. and. We were told that it remains an open and active investigation and of the highest priority. 
um, you know, as you know, Kimberly, up until this point, we've been focusing on and are suing Royal Caribbean for its outrageous conduct surrounding my brother's death. Well, right. we'll continue with this pursuit. But, All right, uh, well, John keep us posted, Bree. We've got to go. Seamus and Bree, thank you. And stay with us. Lots more when we return with the lineup. I her daughter died. I'm a mother. I need to know. I can't go through the.